Curbs can be a lot of fun just for playing around on and for getting creative on. My preferred way of tackling curbs is by using a crossover stride type movement. You simply perform a crossover or a stride and you use it to prepare yourself up the curb. For me this helps generate power and it's all going forward. not a fan of the simple step up. I always find that my weight distribution is, it feels wrong, it feels awkward. I leave my weight behind me and I really want that to be going forward up onto the new surface and I always feel that there's a risk of ramming that back ski into the curb and it never feels good. Using the crossover stride, the back foot can be used as like a safety measure. Once you've jumped up onto the new surface, you can simply drop the back skate down just to provide an extra bit of stability. When I'm coming off curbs, I generally simply roll off and land two-footed the way I would do if I was just landing a jump. You can be as creative as you like with them, you can practice transitions, you can practice 180s. They can be a good learning tool and I can waste hours just bombing around on curbs. And it can be good for training you for tackling bigger obstacles like larger steps or benches or for when you start to ascend stairs. I find that the whole crossover stridey movement fits in nicely with my flow whereas I find the simple step up often disrupts that flow and never really feels that natural.
So try the crossover stride, have a shot of it, and let me know what you think of it. It probably wouldn't be the recommended method if you were learning to skate, but it really works and it feels very intuitive, so it might be something that works for you. And again, curbs are probably going to be one of the first obstacles you encounter once you start to take your skating from smooth paths onto more varied surfaces, so have fun with curbs and let me know how you personally tackle curbs. Let's get safe and I'll catch you on the next roll.